and welcome to the vlog. The clip I just showed was actually from yesterday and that's a load of the drills that I've been doing recently. Not all the drills, but especially over like the last week, week and a half, um, they're the main ones. In terms of drilling, I mainly get my drills from my coaches. The vast majority of them are from John, but then I also pick up basic drills off Instagram and then obviously YouTube too. All those I think are pretty good resources. So I've just got in from a run, which is why I'm a little out of breath and a bit sweaty. At the moment, even though I haven't got a fight booked, I'm trying to run between two to three times a week and then when I'm not doing that in between drilling, I'm doing body weight exercises, mainly because my shoulder still hasn't fully healed. It is getting a lot better. Um, and I think you should keep your fitness up in between fights. Helps keep your weight down. I think it's the best way to keep your weight down other than dieting. Uh, so then when you do get a fight lined up, you can take it quicker and you're already in shape. Also guys, quick side note, from a few vlogs ago, Dean fought on BCMMA, that fight is now up and I'm gonna link it in the description box. Also guys, check this out. So this is why I always wanted a separate pair of running shoes to my old pair of running shoes, which I now use for boxing. Because when you do indoor sports, like boxing, you gotta keep your shoes clean, you gotta be respectful to the gym, and things like these, these types of situations require cleaning. And when you're running in winter and you're running outdoors, it's gonna require constant cleaning if you're always switching between that and boxing. At the moment though, I'm actually taking a month off the boxing gym while my shoulder's getting better. So in the winter, I normally run in three to four layers, wrap myself up, but the result is an absolute sweat fest. Look at that, it's like different colored t-shirt, pretty disgusting. Right guys, so I'm just gonna do a few shoulder exercises. I've mainly been doing body weight, but I'm gonna use these five kg weights just to do a bit of shoulder press like so. Even though that's super light and it's 5kg, I can even feel that a little bit. So I'm gonna work through some of that, grab a shower, and I'll see you in the next clip. Right guys, just going for a super quick breakfast. Time is currently 10 to 12. Did that run on empty stomach, no coffee or anything. Just going water, bowl of berries. There's some banana berries at the bottom there too, and some supplements, hopefully not tainted as everyone seems to have tainted supplements these days. All right, peeps, have driven into town now, meeting Callum. Um, don't think I've ever said before, so me and Callum have been friends since like year five, UK school age, which is like 10 years old in actual age. And yeah, the last month we've been super into cryptocurrency. That's been a new hobby for the last month, so I'm sure we'll talk about all things that. I was talking to my mum about it earlier and compared it to crack, to which he replied, you haven't done crack of you such a mum thing to say what's your prediction enigma Alright guys, lunch was absolutely OP, solid 9 out of 10, best burger in Cambridge. The lighting's a bit shit in there, but went garlic mayo, rosemary salt chips, and ridiculous burger. What, what are you saying about Butch Annie? Shilling. Shilling Butch Shill Annie. that shit. Shill. Quick donut break, gone for the Lotus Biscoff, one of my favourite. You gone Blaze Raspberry? He's worried because his girlfriend's super healthy and he's being a boss. So. And we got Glaze the coffee rug. too. Look at that, look at that. Whoa. Right guys, all done jetting about in town there with Callum. He had to go pick up his girlfriend from the station. It's currently about 3 o'clock. Actually went into Zara looking at a couple like standard t-shirts and a hoodie. And this kind of just shows how OCD I am. There was a tiny bit of like thread that was the wrong colour on the hoodie and I just know it would drive me mad. So didn't get any of that, I had to get back in time for my parking ticket and the queue was big and that again shows how much of a pussy I am. Didn't want to really risk it. So back now and gonna head home. What's wrong? What's wrong? It's cold, isn't it? Boom, like a lightning bolt. Where are we going? Food? Oh no, this is absolute disaster, isn't it? Feast, cat, feast. Right guys, so it's a few hours later. This afternoon I've just had a chilled one. I was watching some Grand Tour and then I had to ring the bank about one of my cards. Currently watching some Data Dash, 
crypto YouTuber. Like I said, I'm an addict at the moment. Now I'm gonna grab some dinner to finish up this day. Right guys, here's dinner, looking pretty tasty. No, I did not cook it. So we've got some mashed potato, spring onion, and then some lamb mince in a roasted red pepper paste with onions and cabbage. Booyah. Pretty tasty to be fair. Ooh, bit of chili kicking in. So that is a Rick Stein recipe. Some like famous chef dude, loves fish apparently. Yeah. Right guys, I've seen off that dinner. First time having it and gotta say it was on point to be fair to my dad. Apple to finish up this day and I'm probably gonna watch an episode of Vikings at some point this evening. But hope you enjoyed the vlog. Come through with that like and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.